Hey guys, Psycho Chef here. Um, I was not anticipating that I would do anything like this um, because I didn't want to be the follower because I've been the follower since I was like in fifth grade. I've never been the leader, but uh, there's so much Guild Wars 2 hype going on. I got to do something. Um, so uh, right now, uh, the big thing is uh, PAX Prime. Um, really looking forward to what they're going to be doing at PAX Prime. They're going to have a big announcement. I have no idea what it's going to be. Um, I'm really hoping that they're going to announce uh, the final class, um, which from talks of what I hear is going to be the Mesmer. That's uh, just an assumption by many other people. I have no clue what's going on. Um, I never played the first one. So uh, using that as a transition, uh, one thing when the game does actually officially launch, which is going to be, um, well, when it's ready. Um, once the game launches, uh, I'm going to probably be doing a video blog on that. Uh, probably something along the lines of noob school, um, strictly because I never played the first one. Um, I've only ever seen anything involved with the second one. Seen a couple of things from Guild Wars 1, uh, seen a ton of stuff from Guild Wars 2. I am literally just having Guild Wars 2 information overload. Um, it's awesome. Um, but I'm intentionally not going to purchase Guild Wars 1. Uh, one, because my computer is sitting in about seven pieces back there behind me. Um, right now I'm on my, uh, on my Mac and my light is being really funny. Um, so until I get that working, <laughs> um, I will not be able to play anything other than WoW. I know, sucks for me. But, uh, I'm intentionally not going to play the first one simply because I want to see what a game like Guild Wars 2 will do with somebody like me, with somebody who's never played it before. Who's, you know, I mean, I, yeah, I've played War excuse me, World of Warcraft, um, my brother plays Latro, I've seen him play Latro, I've kind of played it a little bit myself, but not really too much, um, I've seen Rift, I've never actually played it personally, but I've seen a lot of it, um, but, you know, they're all pretty much the same, so as far as MMOs are concerned, Guild Wars 2 is shattering the foundations of all MMOs as we know them, and I want to see how a person who's never played the original version will fit into this. Now, I, I do get the idea and the concept behind the different utility skills and this, that, and the other, but to me, you know, just not not having the whole global cooldown deal, you know, you click an ability and you can instantly use it again, and you can just, you know, um, think, I don't know if it's only the Warriors or if others can do it too, see, I'm still trying to process the information. Um, you know, using chain and, and combos and stuff like that, and having, you know, your cooldowns are set for, you know, for like your bigger spells and your your, your better abilities, your top notch abilities that you just, you build power and you build power and then you let them loose. You know, stuff like that. I've never, that's new. I mean, I've never seen that in an in, in, in MMO. God, I cannot talk tonight. And, you know, it's, it's completely different to me. Um, the fact that there's going to be no healing. I played a healer all throughout my WoW career. To this day, I still play a healer. And there's no healing in Guild Wars 2. There's no direct, I'm going to target you and I'm going to throw heals at you. You know, heal, 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 crap, tank. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, throw one at you because you're taking damage and you don't know how to feign death. Heal, tank, heal, tank, heal. There's none of that. You know, and for me, I'm just... It's going to be so awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I think that it's going to be really nice to not have to have a healer to do anything. But for somebody like me, I'm not sure how that's going to play out. So I'm really interested to see what that's going to be like. Um, and there's just, I mean, there's so much information on this game. And it's probably, in my opinion, this is not, you know, with any kind of knowledge or foresight or anything. I'm thinking not for another year, minimum. Like, there's no way this game's going to be released in the next 12 months. And if they do... I'd actually be kind of scared. Um, they have done phenomenal work from what I've seen. A couple of odds and ends that I'm like, well, kind of skeptical on, but I have faith in ArenaNet that this game is just going to be up there. You know, there's just, it's going to blow everything else out of the water. Um, so eventually when it does release, I will be doing, um, uh, well, I won't call it a learn to play because uh, as most or many of you will probably already realize that, um, Zola Fury, a uh, friend of mine, is going to be doing uh, an L2P on his damn screensaver. I gotta put a sticky note on my computer when I do these things. Um, Zola Fury will be doing uh, an L2P on his channel 
um, and he'll be going over all the different races and classes and so on and so forth on his channel. Well, I don't want to mimic that and look like the follower. So for me, I'm just going to not play the first one. And that's going to be my my style. Um, you know, so people who have played the first one will probably not enjoy the videos. Um, they'll probably look at them and go, oh, God, you noob, what are you doing? Oh, my God. But for those people that are like me that have never played the first one and, and or are unwilling or unable to play the first one, it'll kind of offer a little bit of insight and say, you know, this is this is how I played and I never played the first one. And then you can just use that as kind of a, a balancing act and say, well, you know, he never did play the first one and he's playing like this. And if I play terrible, sorry, I hope I don't. If I play terrible, you'll know, well, wow, maybe I should get experience in the first one. Or if I pick it up real quick, which I usually do, then you'll be like, oh, well, maybe I don't need to play the first one. I mean, it's totally up to you whether you want to play the first one or not. I'm going to choose not to do it and see what happens. Um, I didn't play World of Warcraft until Wrath of the Lich King came out. So all these people are talking about all the vanilla days and the BC days and all this other kind of stuff. I'm like, okay. I have no clue what they're talking about. Like, oh, they're, everybody's like, oh, remember back in the good old days? And I'm like, yeah, sure, if you're talking about, like, you know, 2008, when I started playing, um, sure, them's, them's was the good old days. I do remember Paladins, the seals were a pain in the ass when I first started, every three minutes. Every three minutes having to refresh that freaking seal. And there was, like, six of them, and now there's four. Five. I don't know, there were a lot more seals back in the day. And, uh, it was, you know, you just, they change so many things and eventually it just gets boring and it's just like, oh, well now I have, you know, yeah, it's, it's nice for, you know, people like hunters that had like a hundred abilities and they actually had to have a specific rotation depending on their, their spec and which pieces of gear they had and were they going to stack haste or were they going to stack crit and I mean, all that kind of stuff. But now it's like all the gear, all the gear is the same. You can reforge out of something if you don't want it. And then there's um lost my train of thought. Um Now I feel like a real idiot because I was going into this rant and then I completely forgot what I was ranting on. Oh, abilities. Um like for hunters uh and I remember on my, I'll just use my Paladin as an example. Um, for me, when I first started, I leveled all the way up through to 80, almost to 80 is holy. And I, I knew my rotation, rotation, you can't really heal with a rotation, but I knew my rotation in most senses. You know, it's like, oh crap, I'm, I'm low on mana. Okay, I'm going to switch my seal real quick to seal of wisdom, and I'm going to start laying my, my judgment of wisdom. And it's, okay, I'm going to get mana back. And oh crap, well, I'm just going to go in and smack the boss. Okay, you know, two, three melee hits. Okay, I just gained 17k mana in four seconds. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start healing again. You know, I had to do that in Ulduar. It was in, in Ulduar, but it was TOC, was the raid that was out. So technically it wasn't at level content, but... Still, Ulduar was pretty tough all the all the way until ICC. Like even ICC geared people were having a rough time in Ulduar. So, yeah. But anyway, um, you know, just go in and be up against XT or whatever, and go in and start smacking them around. And oh crap! Now maybe I should back out, change my seal again, and then just start healing. And now you don't do that. You have one seal up all the time. I have one judgment. I get no life from it. I had a judge before. You had a judgment to give yourself health back. If you needed health, you lay this judgment, you get health back on melee hits and whenever you, you hit somebody with the judgment. You had the judgment of wisdom, which gave you mana back any time on melee hit and when you laid down the judgment. And then you had another one that was a movement reduction, which I hardly ever used because I didn't PvP very much. So I had no use, no use for this thing in PvE. So... You know, and, and then they completely revamped everything. I like what they did. They added Holy Power and all this other kind of stuff. They gave us an AoE heal. They gave us two AoE heals. Um, one Instacast, another, excuse me, another Instacast heal. So now we've got uh, Holy Shock and uh, the other, I never can remember what the names of these things are. But we've got two AoE heals. One's a Frontal Cone, one's everybody within eight yards. And then we've got our basic, you know, our regular heals. Big heal, medium heal, small heal. And the small heal costs like six times as much, go figure. But, you know, so it's real simple to just use these five or six spells and then just lay down one judgment and then, you know, you're done. You just have your seal of light up and if you're specced into it, which you should be as a holy pally, 
Um, you, every time you hit somebody with a judgment, you get mana back. Every time, no matter what you get, I get, I get like three k each time I do a judgment, and my he, my average heal costs roughly one point five, one point six for holy shocks. So if I heal and use a holy shock, if I crit my holy shock, it my next one's free. So uh, I'm just laying down. To, I don't run oom unless people are being really stupid and I have to like spam. Don, uh, Light of Dawn on him, which is the big heal. Spam that crap on him. I mean, it's different. Back in the day, you had to pay attention to what you're doing. You had to change it up as the run was going on. You had, you know, reaction times. You had, say, you know, this happened, so now I'm going to do this. Okay, now something different has happened, so I'm going to do something different. And now you don't do that. You have, okay, I'm going to hit one, one, my, here's my rotation. One, 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 two, two, three, three. Four. One 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 two two three four. Okay, now I've got a I've got, you know I need to gain mana back or focus or whatever. Okay, two, 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 three, five, one, one, one. I mean there's no fun in that. You know, yeah, you gotta run around, you gotta pay attention to what's going on, but there's no customization to it. Everybody does the same thing. Everybody has the same gear. And that's another thing that I'm really looking forward to with Guild Wars 2 is the customization is just going to be incredible. It's going to be so big. Just, I mean, you will, you will literally be able to spend like hours <laughs> just developing how your character looks when you start out. And I'm sure that there are going to be people that are going to do that. I will probably take all of half an hour at most because I really don't like waiting around to play the game. But with Guild Wars 2, I might actually go for a little bit longer and just you know fine-tune my character exactly the way I want him. With a lot of other games, you can't do that. You go running around and you see other people and you're just like, Hey, now I had the mohawk. Why do you have the mohawk? See, now i got to go change my hairstyle. Okay, go and get my shave and a haircut achievement. Woohoo, whoop de freaking do And then you run around, Hey, you've got the same hairstyle. Well, crap, now i got to go do it again. And you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again. And then you just look like this monstrosity. Because your hair doesn't match your facial features or your facial expression or your facial hair. And it's, I mean... And everybody's got the same gear. All the gear looks the same, which on some classes, granted, Blizzard did the right thing with some class, some classes. Uh, T11 DKs, wow. T10, no, yeah, T11 mages, nice. T10 palos were pretty cool. I didn't like the skirt. I'm glad that T11 changed that, but we're blue. <laughs> and now T12, we're back in a skirt. Thank you, Blizzard. But... I mean, every, everybody just looks the same. Yeah, there's variations and differences on whether you've got regular or heroic, but that's it. There's just, there's no difference to it. You know, you see somebody running around and you say, oh, I recognize that shield. I know exactly where he got that. Or you say, hey, what is that shield? And you go and you inspect him and you say, oh, it's that. He's like, I know what that is. I just didn't know what it looked like. Or I mean, there's just, there's no, there's no customizing to it. And then there's Guild Wars 2 that's just going to blow, the, again, blow it out the water. You know, you can spend so much time, you can develop your facial features, you can do everything. You can develop, you know, how, how widely spaced the eyes are, how thick your eyebrows are, how big your ears are, how, you know, do you look like a freaking monkey or are they laid back? You know, I'd actually wouldn't be surprised if it was like, oh, do you have attached earlobes or not? I mean, that would be awesome! You know, and I wouldn't put it past them to do something like that. I mean, so much customization and then just the look of your character just in general your your features your you know your size your build can't really do anything about the height because you know if you're in a surrey you can't exactly stand five foot tall but you know just th all kinds of stuff and i'm wow going on a rant here <laughs> so i've already hit 15 minutes on this um i'm gonna have to crop some time off the front and the back of this thing so um in review uh, eventually when uh, Guild Wars 2 does launch, I will be doing a uh, Let's Play or something to that effect. Um, show you, you know, how a noob to Guild Wars like me will fare out in this game. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. PAX East is going to be awesome. Looking forward to that. GamesCon, really looking forward to all the gameplay that's going to be going on there. They're going to have everything available there. The customization screen, um, just the whole shebang is going to be there. So really looking forward to that. Um, props to ArenaNet. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. And fellas, I'll catch you around later.